Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And today is Hangar Flying, episode 14, and we have quite the mixed bag of stuff for you today in this episode. We have update on the Project Tiger, as well as some other things that have been going on. So stay tuned and get ready to have some fun. We'll be back in a few minutes. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So here's what's been going on with the Project Tiger. We have ordered the CD-ROM from the FAA for the aircraft records. And the reason for that is, as you saw in the last episode, that the registration for the Project Tiger finally arrived. Now we want to verify that the FAA actually did get all the lean releases bound to the records of the aircraft, which is why we've ordered a copy of the CD-ROM, so we can verify that there are no liens on the airplane anymore and that all the releases have been bound to the records. So that was going on with the registration in the CD-ROM. On the other note is we've been working with the carburetor. Now on this roller tappet uh, Project Tiger engine, it came with a billeted HA6 carburetor from 2008. And this is the carburetor that has the AD on the mixture sleeve. You have to send it back to the manufacturer to be repaired. A shop cannot do this. So what we have decided to do is we're not going to be using this carburetor and sending it back to Marvell. We're going to take a normal HA6 and we're going to have it overhauled and we're going to put it on the airplane so there won't be any ADs against the carburetor. The funny thing is on this carburetor, many years ago, we had Bill Scott go to overhaul this carburetor. We had a customer's airplane waiting on it. We never got the carburetor back. We ended up having to buy a core from Mark Matthews and have it overhauled because we had a customer waiting on an airplane and uh, no carburetor. And then finally, we sent a bill to Bill Scott for the core carburetor he had. And after a year, he finally mailed the carburetor back. And now we're having it overhauled and recertified for this Tiger engine. So that's where we are with the carburetor. And now we can move on to the interior. Now for the interior of the Project Tiger, we've decided on leather, and we're going to go with uh, Jeff Simon leather interior. Jimmy Candeletti uh, has been very helpful with us in terms of splotches and colors and little things that we need to do. So we're going to be pulling the interior out, making all the appropriate measurements, and then that leather um, that's the color we're going to choose is going to come back and we're going to put it in the airplane. Meanwhile, while the interior is out, we can go ahead now and replace all the glass and touch up all the plastic as well as clean and annual the airplane. But we are going to be going with a Jeff Simons leather interior and that you know what that means and then we'll be getting new carpeting. But that's where we are in the interior of the Project Tiger. And we've started the annual on the Project Tiger. Now, this is the alternator that we're going to be putting on it, but uh, this is a plain power 70 amp alternator. This is on another airplane, but again, we have the plain power alternator and voltage regulator that will be going on the uh, Project Tiger. And we're starting the annual so that when the engine comes back, we'll be legal to fly it to the um, avionics shop and have the uh, full panel put in. And because we're having a full panel put in the airplane, we're not going to be needing the metal panel overlay that we've been hanging on to for a number of years from Fred Cacosta. So here's a metal panel overlay. For those of you who haven't seen it, this is what they look like. This is the left-hand side. Uh, we'll have a right-hand side here in just a minute. But we're not going to be using it, so it is going to be available for sale. And I will put out a Grumman Gang message to that effect, letting people know that I have a metal overlay for sale. So again, we're going to be doing the annual. And we're waiting on the engine to come back. In the meanwhile, we have ordered the Surefire Magneto uh, for the airplane. And we have some other projects. But um, the interior and all on the airplane is coming along quite nicely. And now that Oshkosh is done and we've gotten all the airplanes of customers kicked out of our shop, we have a lot more time to work on the Project Tiger. So again, there will be a metal panel overlay that I'll have available for sale. So stay tuned for our next topic. The other project we've been doing to keep ourselves busy while everybody was having fun at Oshkosh is we've been putting together O-ring kits for your master cylinders and your slave cylinders, your fuel selector, your fuel primer. We're putting together a lot of O-ring kits that will be on the GPA site to kind of help people out. I mean, you can order them all. They're listed right there. We can just order them from Aircraft Spruce. But, you know, we order them in enough quantity that we hope we can pass the savings on to folks. And we're putting these kits together so you'll be able to order. If you have a Gerties slave cylinder, we'll have the O-ring kit for it. Now, the only uh, wrinkle in all of that is the fact that the um, there is one seal at the top that's about a $30 seal. 
but um, those are available from aircraft spruce as well so stay tuned for more fun on the o-ring department and check the gpa store well this one will make you laugh i know that people complain that airplane parts are very expensive and i'm in my new wheelchair it was almost five thousand dollars last year still in warranty but it's funny they have a redesign on the shoulder bolt and there are four of them that hold my titanium chair together they're made to exacting close tolerance positions and the reason why i think this is funny is each of those four bolts hundred ninety one dollars and seventy one cents i had to get four of them they come in a service kit with a wrench another wrench and a service tag the funny part is they don't these wrenches don't fit the bolts at all uh, you'll notice the bolts don't have any head on them at all. They lock in with a spline and a nut. But but the wrenches were all part of the service kit. But again, here's $800 worth of bolts in my wheelchair. Not covered by warranty because I bought it, not the insurance company. So I just thought you'd be amused by that. So it makes our shoulder bolts for our Tigers and our Grummans that hold our wings together. They don't look so bad now, do they? I'll talk to you later. I don't know how many of you who were at Oshkosh saw Jimmy Candeletti jump in for a minute and John Shardamus talk and talk about the work we've been done to have the red rudder caps made. But we're in the final stages now of getting a PMA red rudder cap for our aircraft. So that's going to be a perk of the GPA that we've been working on this. And they're going to be about $600, which is about half the cost of the LP Aero version. And the nice thing about these is, one, they're PMA. And two, they're already coming fit and trimmed for the airplane. They're going to be ready to be bolted on. Minimal amount of customer sanding and filing to get them on the airplane so that you don't break them. And that's a big perk because the ones you get from LP Aero, they're raw and you have to trim them all to fit your airplane. So that's where we are. And that was all delivered up at the talk again. But John Shardama, he let Jimmy Candelady tell people about the red rudder cap. And then these are going to be a bunch of pictures that were sent by John C. Edwards of the Grumman Gang. And he was at Oshkosh and he waited till he got home and had a good connection. But here's the AOPA Sweepstakes Tiger. I think ours is going to be in a much nicer shape than the AOPA. One, we don't have any delamination on the belly of the aircraft and our windshield bow is bonded. But they haven't finished the airplane yet so I won't bang up on the uh, AOPA Sweepstakes Tiger too badly at this point. So these are the photos of Oshkosh that uh, John sent me. And of course, there's all the fun stuff. There was even this little blurb about buying an airplane. And I did go and call all the combinations of that number and I couldn't get a hold of the guy. One, I just wanted to find out how effective it was in terms of selling your airplane at AirVenture. And then this is the talk that John Shardama gave up at uh, Oshkosh. And the nice thing about when John gives his talks, he always brings a bag of traveling broken parts that he's seen off of Grumman's. And, you know, we have a, an entire table at Yankee Aviation where we do the same thing. We keep all the bits and pieces that people think that look pretty normal until we start showing them where the problems are with all the little bits and pieces. And so this is all showing up around where the stabilizer on the back is and all the corrosion that can be in there that you can't normally see, which is why you want to keep the birds out and keep everything clean. And that helps prevent in the delamination. But then John brings all the pieces of the honeycomb and the brackets and everything from the rear that have gotten worn from people putting their flaps down too hard. And we've all seen punched out spinner front and back plates not a big deal and a lot of people made a big thing about the aopa tiger and you know it's going to be a nice airplane uh, but a lot of people found some things wrong with it and of course there was always theater in the woods well good morning ladies and gentlemen today we're going to talk about tap testing and what we use to tap test with is an an 970-4 washer it's a big washer it has a little bit of mass to it and as you can see that's a hollow sound but here's a bond line Tap, tap, tap. Hollow, hollow, hollow. Tap, tap, tap. You can hear the hollowness when you get off of the rib. Rib, rib, all the way down. But this is how you tap test. Not much to it. 
and by the way, the tap test, that was a comment in one of the videos that someone asked that they would like to see it in regards to the new AD. So ladies and gentlemen, we hope you found all this useful and informative. We hope you enjoyed episode 14 and have fun flying your Grumman. So you've all known our older cat, Freckles, our cat supervisor, and we'd like to introduce the new cats to you. We have Hopscotch there on the left. The other small ginger is Tarzan. He came with that name. And his sister will be popping up in just a second, and her name is Sweet Pea. These are the new cats that we've adopted into our home. It's going to be a nice little family, and we're having a ball. Thanks for watching.